Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, producer and host of Mac Voices, and this is an update for all subscribers and viewers of Mac Voices, Mac Notables, the Mac Jury, and Mac Voices TV. Folks, this has some important information about the future of the shows and your ability to continue to receive them. So please take a second, listen, a couple little instructions for you to follow, uh, and see if we can help you make sense of it all. If you subscribe to the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, you've kind of had an inside track on some of this, uh, or you've, if you've been paying attention, you may have noticed it. But all of the Mac Voices Group shows have been consolidating into macvoices.com. Uh, into one single site, and uh, eventually, and effective now, basically, um, a, a single set of delivery feeds. So here's what's going to happen going forward. Number one, the Mac Jury site and Mac Notable site will stop effectively now with this show um, and be turned into archive sites. So all the sh old shows will still be there. All the links to those shows will work wherever they are on the Internet, but they will just basically freeze in time. And the, way, and the RSS feeds for those shows will end with this. So if you have stumbled across this uh, now or sometime in the future and are looking for the Mac Voices, excuse me, the Mac Notables and Mac Jury shows, head on over to macvoices.com. That's where you'll find the current content. So that's what's going to happen with those shows. And that means that you will need to subscribe to some new show feeds or links um, to continue to receive the content. And we'll talk about that in a second. The Mac Voices TV site will also turn into an archive site at this point, uh, simply because the video has been now also been moved over to MacVoices.com. So the same thing. The the feed will the Mac Voices TV feed will be a little bit different. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but that site will be shuttered as well, uh, or archived as, as well. So, what will remain and how will it work? All the new shows from here on will be published on Mac Voices in both audio, video, and video HD, or high-definition versions. So there will be three basically new feeds, one audio, one video, one HD video. There will be one website, which is macvoices.com. Um, the feeds, all of the feeds, though, will be changing their locations and changing their nomenclature. It's past time for me to stop using some old technology to create those feeds and have something that delivers the feeds a bit more reliably to you than what I've been using in the past. So basically all the feeds are changing and what that means is that there's the potential for disruption delivery of the shows to you. Now, I'm sincerely hoping that the normal transition of iTunes URLs from one to the other goes smoothly. But if it doesn't, that means there's the potential for you to either not be subscribed or not be receiving the shows. So what I'd like to encourage you to do to try to assure that you continue to get them is take some of the URLs, the new URLs, go to iTunes, if that's your podcatcher, or wherever else you podcatch, and it, put those URLs directly in so that you're assured of subscribing to the new feeds, because the new feeds are live now. They've been tested over the past several weeks, and they work just fine. So, the new, and I'll put these in the lower third, right down there, um, the new audio feed will be this, the new video feed will be this, and the new video HD feed will be this. Now, you don't have to try to worry about pausing the video. If you hop over to macvoices.com, find this update episode. Uh, in the show notes, I'll have the new URLs so that you can find them easily and subscribe to them, cut and paste, and you'll be done. So depending on which type of feed you prefer and which type of show you prefer, whether it's audio, video, or the HD video, subscribe to one, both, or all, whatever makes you happy, and uh, and you will continue to receive the content. If you suddenly notice that you aren't receiving content and you are depending on iTunes to do the transition automatically, guess what? It means that something didn't quite 
quite work out. And until I can get it worked out, you really need to come back and subscribe manually. My biggest concern is losing folks in a transition like this, because that's always a fear and it's always a potential issue. So I really want you to please take the time and make sure you continue to receive the shows. If for some reason this creates a real burden, there's also, and we haven't talked about this much up to this point, there's a Mac Voices YouTube channel uh, at Mac Voices TV under that identification. Um, and the URL is right down there, too, again. Um, it'll also be in the show notes. So if you prefer to subscribe on YouTube, great. I'd love to have you. I don't. It ma- doesn't matter to me how you get the content as long as we get the content to you that you want and need. For the fans of Mac Notables and the Mac Jury, who seemed concerned when we did a survey a few weeks ago, months I guess actually, um, from the Mac Voices Dispatch, uh, there were there were only two people who said that if this transition happened, that they might just stop listening or watching altogether. And while I do not want to discount two people or or any even a single subscriber, I just have to tell you that the amount of work uh, of maintaining all the sites and all the feeds just couldn't be justified. I really am more interested, and I think you are too, in getting more content, better content, great content that you can honestly use, um, along with talking to some of the the fun people that we do and have some of the, the laughs that we do. But the one... The one compromise is that the tag, the tags in MacVoices.com, can continue to be sorted by Mac Jury and Mac Notables. So if you go and now, as I'm speaking, I'll have a screenshot up here. Um, but if you go to those tags, click that, that will show you the shows with those tags. So if you really like the panel formats of the Mac Jury and that's all, you can click there and it'll sort it right out for you. If you really like just the panelists we have for Mac Notables, same thing. Click that link and it'll sort it right out for you. Those tags will continue into the indefinite future because that's pretty easy to do as I'm preparing the shows. So the last thing, I guess, is just to encourage you to follow me on Twitter and encourage you to uh, subscribe to the Mac Voices Dispatch, the weekly newsletter, so that you are aware of things like this and that we don't lose anyone. Uh, Because that, again, is the one fear that I have in doing this. But it's just time for another evolution for the show to continue to bring you great content. That's it. Uh, I hope to see you on the other side of this, and I hope you will continue to stay subscribed and be part of the Mac Voices Group family. Until the next time, I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for listening.